Okay, now that we have seen how breakpoints work, now maybe we can do something a little bit more challenging and a little bit more interesting. So to start things off, first of all, we will have to get a couple of more connectors from uh, from our web page. So in order to do that, let's go to our web adapter and start integration. So what am I going to do right now? I'm going to look through the web page and I'm going to find something that could be automated in order to save some time. And once again, uh, this uh, we can use this as a test to debug our application. For example, when we go on a web page, the buttons that we have, the buttons and the text boxes and all the interaction items that we have are on our web page should light up on uh, Peg Robotic Studio. This means that they have been correctly matched. So if that happens, the items that I collected before should light up. Let's wait for this to load. Okay, it has loaded and as you can see, all of the items have lit up. Now, let's see what we can automate. Well, the first thing that comes to my mind is that I have only two friends, so it could be a good idea to send some invites. So in order to do that, let's go to my network and make sure you select the link, not the span or the other HTML tags. Always check also the rules that are, that are created. So let's click on this. Let's take a closer look at the web page. So I'm trying to automate some uh, friend invites. So what I should do, I should send a couple of invites So in order to do that, let's get this button right here. Okay, and let's go back to Pega Robotic Studio. Now, pay close attention. This button that I got right here, this button is repeated here, here, and on the different parts of the web page. So I should make an automation that clicks on this button, this button, this button, this button, and so on. In order to do that, let's first start by defining a general rule that matches with this button. What do I mean? We have to create a rule. What do I mean? We have to create a rule that clicks on all buttons that says collegamenti inside of them. So to do that, first of all, let's remove the element index rule. The element index rule tells us the position of the element on the page. So let's remove that rule. And let's see. Now we see that by removing that rule, our button now matches to all of the buttons on the web page. So we have to be a little bit more specific. Now, to be a little bit more specific, we have to be like detectives. So let's analyze this button in detail. So this button in detail, we can see from the match rule that it has a quite unique inner text. An inner text that's unique, however, it can also be very general. So let's add maybe a rule with inner text, inner text match rule. 
Okay. However, this is too specific because this is gonna only send a friend invite to this person. We wanna be able to click on each button that says connect basically. Now in order to do that, let's edit our match rule. And let's make it start or contain only the first part of the button. And obviously this is gonna match. So now we have created a, a rule that is gonna match always when there is this text inside of the button. So in order to verify all of the possible options that could be clicked, Okay, as you can see, the button li links to all the send invite send invite buttons. So this should work. Now, now we can stop our interrogation and we can test our automation. Now we should get rid of this because we're not going to need this anymore. We're going to leave our login procedure and we're going to create another procedure we're going to name this procedure add friends so as you can see i'm building quite a modular automation of linkedin i'm so far i have a login procedure and now i'm going to create an add friends procedure So as before, we're going to click inside and add an entry point and two exit points. One is going to be success and one is going to be failure. In addition, let's add also two labels and name them also and success. Let's add a message. This is going to be useful later for debugging our application. Okay, now let's start with the automation. So the first thing that we have to do once we arrive at the landing page, we have to click on the on the button network so let me rename this button and we should wait for this button to create and then perform a click I'm gonna do something very simple just to see if our automation is going to work after that we're going to create a loop that's going to click this button several times so we're going to perform a click on the network part after we arrive on the network park we want to click on the button to connect so let me rename also this button but first let's wait for it to be created And let's click on it. I have renamed this button to connect to friend. And we should be almost ready to start our automation. So 
from our main procedure from our solution explorer if we go to our main automation and this is how currently our automation is starting so now instead of going through the login since we log in automatically we're gonna go straight to our straight to our add friend procedure now let's add the breakpoint to see that everything works how it should and let's wait for the project to deploy By now you should be getting familiar with the look and feel of this uh, of this tool. It might be a little bit confusing in the beginning, but once you get the hang of it, it starts getting pretty easy. And it also helps you out with many repetitive tasks and automations. Here we are entering debugging mode and let's see if our automation actually works. As soon as this line lights up, we will know that the automation has started. But I first, I forgot, I first have to click the login button. Okay, let's see if this works. All right, let's get started. So, for as you remember, to go to the next step in after the breakpoint, you push F10. Now, let me close this so we can see this better. So let's click on the network, OK, and now let's wait for the button and let's click on Christian. OK, so we have added successfully a friend or we have sent an invite. Now let's try again and see if we're going to click on this guy and send him a friend request also. All right, let's restart this whole process again. So okay, it has clicked on network, and is it? And it has sent a friend request to the guy from before. Okay, so now we know that we have a button that we can always click in a repetitive way. So next, we're gonna create a loop that's gonna click on the different buttons.